Welcome. Going carnivore in Thailand. Another day. Another bit of fat. It's a good morning to have a cup of coffee. It's been cloudy here in Thailand the last few days. We've had a couple bouts of a little rain here, a little rain there. Got in the pool this morning. It was rather chilly. It, the water was a little cooler than it normally is because the suns have been behind clouds the last two days. And the rain comes and adds water to the pool that's cool water, not warm water. So, anyway, weird thing. Last night, both Noy and myself, after eating a lunch, uh, last night it was like 8 o'clock, and we said, well, what do you want to eat? I said, I don't know. What do you want to eat? So she ended up taking one of the ribeyes and seared it up in the pan real good, brought it over to, to me, and the sucker was huge. I mean, it was huge. So she had not made a decision for herself. So I said, well, why don't you take half of this? So we cut it in half. She took half. I took half. I started to eat it. I got halfway through the half, and I was full. And so I, I've been listening a little bit with, with my body. And I was full, so I said, yeah, I'm full. Why don't you put this back away in the refrigerator for later? And she said, I already put mine away, too. I was full. So weird is all I can say. I'm eating less steak than I did before. One of the reasons is I've been eating the fat. And I've been eating butter. But not a lot of butter. Yesterday, I doubt if I ate a quarter stick of butter. Uh, the reason why I just was never hungry. Uh, don't know why exactly. But that's tidbits from Thailand today. And uh, carnivore is easy, but... I think now I'm having a little trouble with the boring part. You know, it's almost like, all right, God, life is good. You can have ribeyes every day, but sometimes you just, you know, you have to tell yourself it's liver day or it's salmon day. We have to have something else. So people say carnivore is tough. Well, it's tough for me because eating used to be a sport. Eating used to be a treat. Eating used to be something that I look forward to. You know, it was like you get up in the morning and by 10 o'clock in the morning, you're already thinking, how can I treat myself to a fantastic tasting dinner tonight? Well, what about some surf and turf or, you know, what about a big old Pizza Hut pizza with stuffed crust? Uh, you know, maybe I'll have that tonight. You know, all those things don't happen anymore. So you have to get past the point of, I want to eat, and be the point of, you know, I'll eat because I'm hungry, and when I'm not hungry, I stop. That's tough. I've spent a lifetime doing it the other way around. That's all, folks.